G'day Sawdust Makers. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this piano wall art out of old fence palings. Now, a couple of years ago, I saw something similar on Pinterest and really wanted to try it. So I gave it a go, and this is the one that I built. Now, during lockdown, got an order for another one. So the majority of this build is fence palings, and then I used some thin strips of old hardwood for the black keys and some pallet timber to make the backing frame. And this is the latest one that I made, proudly hanging up. So let's make it. So first we need our fence palings. It took me a while to sort through what palings I wanted to use. These are very weathered and have a lot of character in them. Now to get that mismatched look that still has some consistency, basically I'm cutting the palings in half but I'm not cutting them exactly in half. I'm sort of, you know, 50 to 100 mil either side of half and mixing that up. Then it's a case of laying them all out, as you see here, and just seeing what works best. You know, you have an eye for it. Now with a wire brush, just getting out all of the gunk and dirt and crap that's in all the gaps. We want to clean it, but we don't need it too clean. Then slap on some white paint. As you can see, you don't have to be a master painter. Just slap it on. Now the strips of hardwood for the black keys, obviously paint those black. So now with my sander, I'm going over them and bringing out the texture in the timber, those rough saw lines and everything else. So I lay out all the palings again, get a rough visual of what it's gonna look like and then sand. The process for this to, to get that character is you're just taking a lot of the top surface off. There's so many different bumps and grooves and lines that you're just wanting to bring as much of it out as possible. And this is what we end up with. You can see there's not a lot of exposed timber. I really like that look. So now to build a basic backing frame so it can hang on a wall. I've got some pallet wood and my Craig K5 and pocket holes will take care of the rest. I do like a bit of pocket hole action. Now just running over the palings again with the wire brush, just to bring out a bit more character. So just want to lay them all out, make sure we're happy with how it's looking because we're about to put it all together. And the same for our black keys. We want to arrange those so we're happy and aesthetically everything looks how we want it to look. And I'll be honest, I was actually standing here arranging these black keys for quite a while until I was happy. Now that everything is perfectly lined up how I want it, I'm just making some marks. So as I glue it and nail it, I have some reference points to make sure that everything's going exactly where I want it to. So I glued the palings to the frame using polyurethane the polyurethane was the best choice given that it was going to be hung outdoors and also the foaming nature of the polyurethane would help fill all the uneven gaps and, and make sure that the palings were stuck sufficiently. And then a whole bunch of brad nails. And this thing is never coming apart. So now that that has fully dried, it's time to attach the black keys using the exact same process. Using some sawdust and some white paint and a Q-tip, I went around and filled all those little brad nail holes. And despite the fact that this is a very rustic project, I just didn't want those nail holes to be shown. And there it is. I think it looks really cool. I'm very happy with it. One thing left to do, I can't remember what you call these little duvers, but you know, they're so you can hang it on the wall. They go in nice and easy, job done, and there you have it. One piano wall art made from reclaimed timber. I think it looks pretty cool. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments if you do anything differently. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other social channels and our Facebook group for people who like to make stuff. All the information is in the description. See you later.